The Office of Public Instruction says the School Quality Task Force, which is not required by statute, was assembled by Arnson to review and suggest new learning benchmarks for students. McCall Flynn, Executive Director of the Board of Public Education and member of the task force, says that they are trying to make sure accreditation standards are current and working for the school districts. And really what we as a task force are doing is ensuring that the administrative rules that are written here right now as it relates to accreditation is current and is working for our school districts. It is likely that there are places that we are going to want to change and modify. Then the group will send their findings to a negotiated rulemaking committee that is required to represent schools and groups from throughout the state's public schools. While the negotiated rulemaking committee will have certain requirements for a diverse membership of representatives, the current task force evaluating the accreditation standards primarily consists of board members, directors, and superintendents. Amanda Curtis, president of the Montana Federation of Public Employees, questioned the lack of teachers on the task force. Well, I certainly don't mean to denigrate the folks who are giving their time to do this work now. It looks like there's a good group put together, but it is astounding to me that there are not teacher voices represented in the task force that is determining the rule and the policy that govern the education profession. Once the recommendations have been finalized and then reviewed by the superintendent, they will be sent to the Board of Public Education, along with an analysis of the proposed changes, potential costs, or savings. Public comment is welcomed at the task force's next meeting, which will be held on February 22nd. Those who wish to give virtual public comment can find more information by following the link in this story on our website. Flynn also mentioned that there should be a field survey going out and that anyone can participate to give their thoughts on what should happen. In Helena, Tom Buchanan, MTN News.